Hi, JP here at Learn Brizzy, and in this video, I want to cover one of those features that we don't always talk about when we are looking at the Brizzy Builder. There are actually so many features that it's very easy to forget about it. And as you build up your own workflow, some of them will fall to the wayside and you'll forget about them, never use them. And I want to try with some of these videos just to remind you, yay, this feature is there. It's a nifty feature and maybe you should check it out. It's very difficult to change workflow once you've fallen into that groove, but let's look at the more settings or the more options sidebar. As you know, all the elements, most of the elements have that more settings option. So if I go here to this text and I click on it, settings over here and then more settings. By clicking on it, the sidebar opens here on the right. And then if I go to another one here, and this is an image, settings down here, let me just scroll down more settings and there is the sidebar again and you have all the functionality depending on the element that you are using within that sidebar what is nifty about this sidebar two features and we can say three features let's go back to the text element click on that settings and more settings you see every time i do that click on an element settings more settings. I have to go through two clicks to open the sidebar. So if I quickly want to jump from this text to this text element here and then to the image, I have to click every time settings, more settings to open the sidebar. Now you don't have to do that. Go here to the settings of any of them, more settings, and then lock the sidebar up here. You see that little small one that, that looks like a lock? And if you hover over it, you cannot see, but it does say unlocked. Click on it and now it is locked. Now it will remain not only locked, which means if I go over to here where my text is and I click on it, it will remain there, but it also remains sticky. If I click on advanced and I go to the image now and I click on the image, it will stay open in advance. If I click on this one, it stays open in advance and I can go anywhere on this page. When I click on it, like here on the column, it stays open in advance. That is very, very useful if you need to make quickly a few changes across your site, especially if you're maybe working with overlapping images, your Z index, that will be super helpful. It also means that as you scroll up and down this page, that sidebar will remain there. Combined with this is the option to dock it to the left or to the right. It's not really docking because it's overlapping. With docking, we mean you actually shift the page, but I'll use the word docking for lack of a better terminology. Up here next to the lock option, you will see aligns right or aligned right at this moment. If I click on it, zoop, it goes over there to the left and then zoop to the right. And you can do that a few times just to get the hang of it. I know many people prefer it on the left. I am a right-hander. So for me, having my options on the right, I prefer it like this. All the applications that I use, if I can shift things over to the right, because I'm more comfortable with my mouse here on the right. But I would expect, well, well I don't know, maybe if you're a left-hander, would you prefer it on the left or are you used to it on the right? And that's an interesting question to explore. And if you want the sidebar to go away, you just unlock it again over here. So those are the two options. Remember, click on it, settings, more settings, and you can lock it to keep it visible. It remains sticky as you jump around elements and you can switch it to the left or to the right. But like I said, there's actually a third one as well. So I'm going to unlock it and then click here so it goes away. And the third one is connected to when you go into responsive displays like tablet and for cell phones. On the left, go to the sidebar here to mobile view and we select tablet and you will see that the more settings sidebar pops out by default and it is locked. You cannot make it go away. You can though dock it to the left and to the right. And what is important to understand here because I'm still getting used to this, I, I sometimes feel where is it? If I now go to any element like this text element over here and I click on it and I click on settings, there is no option for more settings. And the reason for that is because it's already open there on the right or on the left, depends on where you had put it. 
And of course, now when you go one level lower, I usually call it level up and level down. If you go down to mobile, it will keep it there. So it's the same behavior for both mobile and tablet. Click on this. Let's click on this one and see if we go to tablet. No. So once you move from one display to the next, it will deselect whatever you had selected. But while you are in that display, it will remain sticky. So you can go around and it will remember where you are. So those are the three features and functionalities of the more setting sidebar within the Brizzy Builder. This is for both Brizzy WordPress and Brizzy Cloud. We are happy to be your partners in your learning journey here with Brizzy. So please subscribe to the channel. Check out the full tutorials like this one we've got going on for Brizzy Cloud Free, showing you how to set up a page with Brizzy Cloud Free, publish and share your site. This is JP signing off.